Everyone rushed outside. Some had tears streaming down their cheeks. They saw that Izuku was already on a stretcher and he was being taken to the hospital. Azor had a grim look on his face, almost as if he was trying his best not to cry. What happened? He was writing down lyrics to this song. We were worried but, it was my fault. Jiro and Sue cried and cried. I thought that he was just lyric pranking us just like other times. Same here Kiro. I'm sorry, it was partly my fault too. I fucking told y'all extras to shut the fuck up but y'all won't stop. Bakuburo calm down. Anyway, stay in the dorms. We'll see to it. I'm going to the hospital. No, I have to. No one other than B knows Auntie Inko properly anyway. I'll come too. Only two of you can come. Others stay in the dorm and don't do anything rash. Also, he faced the class. If y'all ever need to talk to anyone, please don't hesitate. We don't want you young heroes giving up your lives like this. Remember, we're here for you no matter what. And I honestly don't care about where the school reputation is standing. All I care is about the well-being of yours. Am I clear? Everyone responds positively. Bakugo and Eureka accompanied Azor to the hospital. Inko was contacted. She almost broke down. Bakugo tried talking her out of it and with the help of his mother, Mitsuki, Inko was taken home. Bakugo and Eureka took turns staying with Madariha every day. It was surprising that Bakugo was so much worried about the Deku he bullied but, he was changing to be the best version of himself. He didn't know the reason as to why Izuku decided to do this but he wants to find out soon. It's been a week that Midoriha was hospitalized. His body was okay because he's tougher than he looks but he was mentally not well. They scanned him and this doctor he was assigned to had a quirk that could detect the mental stability. Midoriya's was terrible so they decided to keep him there for some more time. It was a Saturday night and Midoriya sat up in his hospital bed. Bakugo was sound asleep on the seat beside his bed. He placed a hand on his head. I'm so sorry Kajan. He saw his phone on the table beside his bed and opened the group chat. He wanted to talk to them. Class 1A group chat. Deku. Oh my god Azuku. How are you? I'm so sorry. Midoriya. I wish I had understood you better. It was my fault too Kiro. Please forgive us Midoriya. How are you texting? Aren't you in hospital? Where's Bakugo? He's sleeping. I just wanna get this out so please let me speak. Alright alright. Go on bro. I was Also he doesn't remember what happened. I think it's better for him to not remember. I guess, he hurt his head, right? It's good that he didn't forget us. He's talking about Bakugo, right? Yeah, he was the only one to get so worried. Bakugo stirred in his sleep. Izuku looked at him and smiled. What does that mean? Do you mean, crossing over to the other side? Takoyomi, don't make this darker than it already is. I'm not though. But why Deku? I can't stop crying. Please, Midoriya tell us what happened so we can help. It's so painful looking at you suffer. I promise Midoriya, you will be better. You just need to trust us and believe a little more in us. Yes, tell us when you're comfortable and you actually wanna tell us. Yes we would, because we care about you. Look you go. Midoriya looked at the now awake Kakan, with tears in his eyes. Bakugo had the sad look on his face just like the day he realized he ended all might, and that broke Midoriya's heart to pieces. See even Bakubro is saying it. Everyone cares about you Midoriya. You inspire us so much, of course we would cry if you leave us. I'm sorry Midoriya. I'll stop being a perv. Please for the love of god. I don't wanna lose a friend. What's going on? Problem child, you're awake?
but I'm here, I'm not leaving you, I admit, I did pretty bad things in the past, including saying some really harsh words, but I swear I won't do the same mistake twice so please Izuku, just live okay? I won't. I've not held this hand to let go of it. Mushrooms growing on my hand still remember even then where you are when I'm dead. You're not dying. Okay. He said this out loud to him. The blonde was crying. Really hard. Eureka was just outside. Since they usually take turns staying so Eureka just stays outside the cabin. She came running inside. Deku listen. We're here for you. Okay, no matter what happens, we'll be here so you don't have to worry. Deku I'm sorry for everything I did in the past, so please, yeah I'm okay. No you're not and don't tell us otherwise. Take your time and then talk to us one day, yeah? Bakugo wiped his eyes and ruffled Midoriya's hair. You'll be okay. I know you're strong. Thanks Achako. Kajan, this means a lot. Also, I don't really remember much after I got to the roof, so maybe after I'm out of this hellhole, fill me up, yeah? You don't need to know about shit like that. Get your ass to sleep, it's late. Hey okay Karjan. Hey, it's me, the dead weeb. I just wanted to say that if you're having suicidal thoughts, please contact your local hotline or someone you can trust and talk to. Remember that you are not alone and your life matters. And thanks for watching the video, please subscribe and hit the like button.